This video will look at some of the new features and bug fixes in Evergreen 3.5. The ability to mark an item with the status Discard Weed has been added to the Actions menu in interfaces such as Item Status and Check-in. If the item's current status is in transit, staff will be prompted to abort the transit before proceeding with changing the item's status. If they choose to abort the transit and they have the permissions to do so, the transit will be aborted and the item's status changed. If the item's current status is checked out, staff will be presented with a dialog informing them that the item is checked out and asking if they would like to check it in and proceed. If they choose to continue, the item will be checked in and then marked with the discard weed status. If the item being marked as discard weed is the last copy that can fill a hold, then staff will be notified of this condition and asked if they wish to continue. If staff continue, the item is marked as discard weed. Debit card has been added as a new payment type for paying bills. When viewing a bill in full details, there are now links to the owning and billing libraries. This can be useful in situations where circulation staff are troubleshooting a bill and would like to find contact information for the billing or owning library. The public catalog and staff client now have the ability to update existing holds if a patron or staff member changes certain notification preferences or contact information. Evergreen will detect these changes and will prompt the staff user or patron user and ask if they want to update existing holds with the new contact information and or notifications preferences. Long term, the current staff catalog will be replaced with an updated designed for the web client catalog. Libraries can choose to turn on the experimental catalog and start getting familiar with the changes. The experimental catalog is not yet fully featured so some tasks will still need to be completed in the current catalog. To turn on the experimental staff catalog at your library, a local system administrator can set the setting GUI Enable Experimental Angular Staff Catalog to True in the Library Settings Editor. When turned on, both the current catalog and the experimental catalog are available from the cataloging drop-down menu. The experimental catalog looks different from the current catalog but has many of the same features. The plus and minus buttons will add and remove search fields. The three dots will display the filters. You will notice the filters and their values currently available in the experimental catalog are not the same as the ones in our current catalog as they have not been customized for Sitka. Cataloging preferences can be accessed directly through the catalog rather than going through the workstation administration menu and include an option for how many search results you'd like to see per page. Alternative search options are available via tabs across the top. Expert search has been renamed to Mark Search, and the Shelf Browse Call Number Search is now separate from the Numeric Search. When performing a search, you'll see that the system continues to highlight the search terms in your search results. Holdings information is available for each search result, and facets are available to narrow your search down the left hand side. Within the record summary, you have additional tabs, including the item table, which displays information about the items attached to the record, as well the patron view will allow you to see what the patrons will see if they looked at this item in your public catalog. The mark edit will look a little different, but still has the same functionality, both in the enhanced mark editor and the flat text editor, which is now accessed through switching tabs as opposed to the previous checkbox. If you wish to perform a new search, you can access the search form by clicking on Show Search Form, and you're able to edit your existing search or start a new search. Through the experimental catalog, there's now an additional basket action, which is Export Records. 
You can use this to put records into a basket and then export those together. You have the option to choose your uh, record format, the record encoding you wish to use, and whether or not you'd like to include ho holdings in those records. This option is not available in the baskets in the current catalog. If you have the experimental catalog turned on, the Mark Batch Import Export Queue Manager will use the new Mark Edit options. In the French translation of the public catalog, search filter values will be translated into French and libraries will be able to provide the translations for their library name and their shelving locations. Several administrative interfaces have been updated and so will look different. In these newer interfaces, the function bar has also changed. Instead of a button labeled Actions, there's now a button with a check mark, which is the Actions menu. The small arrow now allows you to expand your rows vertically. And the gear symbol brings up the menu where you can manage and save your columns. Backdating in Check-in is now visually distinct from the other Check-in modifiers. Two bugs with specific due date have been resolved. The due date box is now the proper width, and the calendar widget will no longer let you select a due date in the past. The Batch Import Export interface now allows users to view and edit the incoming MARC records while inspecting an imported queue. To view or edit the incoming record, double click on the title. When deleting records, Evergreen now asks users to confirm that they want to delete items that are in non-ideal statuses, like checked out or lost. Purchase orders now have a refresh button that can be used to refresh the purchase order without closing it. Thank you for watching this video. For more information, please visit the BC Libraries Cooperative website.